Hey, my name is Phil with LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at an SEO tool called Squirrely SEO. Now in the Squirrely SEO review, I'm gonna be sharing exactly what this tool does, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. Now just to let you know, there is currently a lifetime deal going for Squirrelly. You can get it at a heavily reduced rate. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you go in the description. There's a link in there to go have a look. So first of all, what is Squirrelly SEO? Well. Squirrelly SEO is a plugin that you can actually add to your WordPress site, which is going to help you get better rankings in Google. And it does this by a few reasons. First of all, you can get things like site audits, you can get page audits, so you can see where your SEO is going wrong, as well as checking rank factors. And there's even 400 features inside of Squirrelly SEO that you can use to actually see how your website is performing. So what I'm actually going to do is instead of trying to explain it to you, I'm gonna go behind the screen and show you Squirrelly SEO. SEO. Okay, so here we are on the Squirrelly SEO homepage. Now I'm going to quickly just go through some of the features because there is a lot and I won't have time to actually go through them all. Uh, but I just want to show you the main ones that I would personally use the most. And then I'll go through the pricing and everything like that. So under features, you're going to notice there's things like focus pages, which is basically a page auditor. It's going to tell you how you can actually get these pages ranking higher and better performing. There's also a keyword research tool. There's what's called the best SEO goals, which is sort of like a automatic checklist to help you sort of keep focused on actually getting better SEO results. Then you can also track them. You've also got an SEO live assistant, which I think most people are going to find the most beneficial. Um, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. And then we've got all these other things that you can integrate as well. Now, like I mentioned, there is over 400 tools and I'll show you where you can find all them in a second. But next, what I'm going to do is show you the Squirrelly SEO pricing um, because it's something to note, especially that I have a lifetime deal going on right now. So you've got the Pro 2021, Business 2021 and Agency 2021. I imagine they're changing their pricing each year. So that's what it currently is. Now, the differences here are mainly the amount of uh, tasks you can do, right? So on the $21 plan, the $20.99, you can only do 1,500 keyword researches, uh, sorry, new keyword ideas per month, while the business, you get 15,000. Focus pages, which is 35 on the Pro, you get 70. And uh, sites you can use it on, you both get seven. So it's all pretty good. Um, so what I'm actually gonna show you is the lifetime deal and we can compare it. So if you click on the link in the description, you'll get brought to this page. If you come down, you'll notice that there are actually five sites to start with, with 25 focus pages. But apart from that, you've got 300 um, keyword researches as well as audit pages and keyword ideas. So it's actually the same. Uh, these three things here as the business plan however it's less sites slightly less focus pages um, than that so it's it's sort of really relative the other thing that you should know too is there is all the, the also the ranking on demand feature and um, that's actually only given on the business plan which you don't currently get on one uh, code but if you get two codes um, that's basically it so what I'm going to do is stop talking about that I'm actually going to show you it and there's two ways you can actually use Squirrelly SEO so if you want to log into the actual website you you can do some of the things inside of here, but to really get the best type of result or best experience from Squirrelly SEO, you really want to log into your WordPress website, install the plugin, and then once you've logged in, it's going to bring you here. So I've been using this for a little while. As you can see, I'm on the one code business lifetime. And what it's going to do is give you a lot of tasks, a lot of ideas, what your website's actually doing. And it's going to give you lots of options where to go from there. So first of all, we have here the overview. We've got here also the 400 features I was mentioning earlier. I'll show you what that is. And while that loads, I will, I'll just show you that now actually. So inside here, we've got all of these different things that you can actually go through. So we've got things like the Squirrelly Cloud app, the 14 day journey, which is sort of like a, a case study. We've also got the next SEO goals, chances of ranking, focus pages. There's loads of stuff. Like you can scroll down this thing for a very long time. But what it does is integrate with all of the analytic type platforms so you can get the best type of data, right? So that's basically the features you can find in there. As you can see, I've got 100% SEO protection. Um, I'm not really too sure exactly what that means, but it seems to be working. Um, you can run an SEO test as well and also see how your thing's going. But I'm just gonna quickly go through all these pages uh, because there's some data that I don't exactly wanna share with everyone. So first of all, we're gonna start on the research page, okay? Now, when you come to the research page, this is where the fun sort of starts to begin. This is where you can actually find uh, keyword opportunities for your, your website, right? So let's just say, as I do a lot of affiliate marketing on one of my other websites, let's just say I wanna look up affiliate marketing, click on next. I'm gonna leave it as a global search. 
you can choose what country you want if you're country specific and then it's going to give me some ideas of the type of content i'm actually looking for so i'm looking for things like affiliate marketing for beginners affiliate marketing programs for beginners so i'm trying to tell it i'm looking for like beginner -y type tutorials type things so i'm going to choose those three and click on do research and i want to just get 20 so it doesn't take too long basically what it's going to do is go out on the internet it's going to do a massive search and it's going to find the best keyword opportunities that i can actually use now at the top you also notice that uh, i am on the 300 level so i have got 299 left um, which is good now here we have some different rankings as you can see we have here competition um, we've got here the monthly searches as well as discussion as well as trend now it's quite interesting because if you go down what you can actually do is find uh, the ones with the decent ranking uh, chance and then you're going to actually use those in your articles so what i'm going to do is uh, filter it by the best uh, decent ranking chance and as you can see these are the best keywords to use now what you would look for is obviously uh, you want to look for very few in discussion because not many people are talking about it and you want to get the most possible search so this keyword here best affiliate marketing programs 2021 or this one here best affiliate marketing books would be the best one that i should potentially use so once you see it there you can optimize for this particular keyword or you can add it to your briefcase which is essentially a bank of all your favorite keywords that you have so i'm going to go ahead click add to briefcase and i'm going to show you what it does so if we come here to the left we've got here briefcase and inside of briefcase is going to be this new keyword that i've actually just dropped inside of here so it's there and you can see i've already got one there as well um, which is actually one of the articles i've written i've just been playing around with it seeing how things work you can also do things like labels you can get suggested keywords and also keyword history i'm not going to go into those because i got to keep moving this review forward so next we have what's called the live assistant and i'm going to show you exactly what the live assistant does um, so what i'm going to do is pause the video and open up a post right so what i've done is i've opened up this post here and what you will see as as it loads and it works in elemental very well is this live assistant popping up on the right so what you want to do is type in the re, uh, the word that you're trying to rank for so i'm trying to rank for bcast suite review so i'm going to click on that and it's going to give me all of the greens and which is uh, perfect that is working well on the article and then the ones that aren't green are things that need improving so as we come down you can see here uh, it's not human friendly enough right so i need to write more words after the first keyword or use synonyms for bcast or for suite or for review and then also i need to bold one of the keywords bcast suite now this article i've already uh, optimized for seo so there's not many things inside of here but uh, when you create a new article you'll notice that majority of these are probably not highlighted and you can actually just come through hover over the eye and it's going to tell you what you need to actually do to increase so it's a very handy tool to actually have live because most of the time you've either got to leave the page you've got to look in other areas to actually check your seo um, or else in this tab here i've actually got rank math still installed um, you have to do it here on the side but it's nice having a premium tool that's actually floating so you can move it around your page so depending on your website this might actually work better for you so that's really cool i do like the live assistant so moving forward we're going to go have a look at the all snippets uh, tab and see what's inside of here so inside here you can see all of my pages and you can see how my visibility is going for everything i did a bulk seo check so as you come down you can see hey look the metas aren't correct for this page so i should really go in there and start doing it and if you click on it it's actually going to give you some reasons why your meta isn't good so the keyword in the description is obviously not good enough so i've got to go ahead and go and fix it now as you come down my my stuff is all pretty good to be honest there's actually not many blog posts on this website i need to focus on it a bit more but as you come through this is a quick indication of all the pages that need a bit of work so that's really cool all your snippets are all in one place next we can go to seo settings inside of here you can go through and add in all of the little things that you want to do we've also got on the left here uh, things like automations seo links seo uh, metas we've also got all your json and social medias tracking tools webmasters sitemap robots favicon import export oh my god you've got everything that you'd expect to have in a good seo tool which is really good to see um, so i'm not going to go into those because things will get a little bit uh, sort of personal that need to be kept that way so what i'm going to do is move forward and go next to focus pages and inside focus pages is the uh, page audit that i was actually talking about earlier as you can see i have got one page that i put in here and i put actually a post in here to see how it looks 
and as you can see my chance of ranking is only 50 percent so it's not that good i've got a lot of things i need to do things like uh, the keyword the strategy needs to be worked on the seo content isn't that great the words per page isn't that good the platform seo isn't that great as well traffic health is bad platform health is bad oh my god this is embarrassing page authority is only 12 um, so i obviously need to make that better social signals i've got none pointing to it got no backlinks going to it don't even have any internal links going into it so <laughs> yeah, you can see it's not the best uh, article i need to work on that for sure but if you look at accuracy i've got a yellow so everything's not too bad and it says i got no impressions or clicks, but i haven't actually connected it to google analytics just yet so you can see I've got a lot of things that I can actually fix to make this particular article rank better. And if you were just using a free tool like I am Rank Math, you'd never get to see this type of stuff in WordPress. You'd have to go somewhere else to externally see how your articles and things are going and then go ahead, come back in here and fix it. So it's really nice to see that you can actually come in here, see how your things are going and you can work on fixing it. So next we'll go to the SEO audit. Um, basically, as the name describes, it is an SEO audit. And what it's going to do is you can put in your pages in here and see how they're going. So I just put in the home page. My audit score is 61. So let's go have a look and see what is actually making it 61%. So apparently my blogging requires attention. My traffic is good, which is a good sign for me. SEO is not that good. Authority, not that good. Inbound, also not that good. And neither is social. So if I actually click on blogging, it's going to take me down and show me why. So blogging average content optimization is zero. So it's on my homepage. I don't really have much content on there. So that's not too bad. But what it's going to do is give you some suggestions, right? So find an amazing keyword set to use for your page. And then it's going to tell you some other things inside of here. So let's see what else we've got. SEO. So if we go to SEO, I've got 20 out of 22, which I'm pretty, pretty impressed with. Meta keyword, so I've got no meta keyword. I've got to focus on that. And if we keep going down, uh, the URL, it's saying it's taking too long to load. So I should really work on optimizing that. Right, and you can come through and check all of these as well. Uh, inbound and authority as well. Basically, it's saying I need to get more links and need to get better rankings. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, we have here the rankings page, which is going to have all of the keywords that you've actually put back into the uh, briefcase section, like you can see I've put in here. Average rank is 7.2. And if you click on synchronize keywords with Google Search Console, it's actually going to show you in this section all of your keywords that you're actually ranking for. I'm not going to personally show you those because it's a little bit of personal data. But apart from that, it is an amazing tool. You can see this is really just scratching the surface as well. You've got so many different features that you can use, um, which I think is absolutely incredible. So what I'm going to do is jump behind the camera quickly and just talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Squirrely SEO. And as you can see, it is a powerful tool if you are lacking in the SEO sort of section. Now, for me personally, I've been using Rank Math, which is a free WordPress plugin. But after using Squirrely SEO for just a few moments, I've noticed that Squirrely SEO provides much more information. Now, the good thing about this as well is there is a lifetime deal. So even as Squirrely SEO is quite new, they still already have so many features. But as time goes on, you're also going to get benefits from being a premium lifetime member unlike uh, the free plugins that you're going to eventually have to pay for you're going to be a premium member for life so anyway that was my squirrely seo review i hope you have enjoyed it if you have make sure you smash that thumbs up button and hit the description if you want to get the lifetime deal because it's not going to stick around for long apart from that make sure you subscribe got lots of good review videos coming in the near future but that's it from me i hope you've enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you on the next one